All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the video. So we are going to be looking at a quick game on Ensk, and this isn't any kind of an exciting game. I'll just, you know, warn you now. It's this is still going to be a great video because I'm going to be kind of explaining everything. But don't expect, you know, a crazy 3,000 damage game or anything like that. This is more kind of just a strategic type of video. And what I want to show you guys is. I'm sure a lot of people already know that you can do this and all, but scouting this crossing is one of the best moves that you can make early on in the game. And I would almost encourage you guys to run Binox and see if you can get close enough and just sit and, and let your Binox pop up. I'm taking shots early on because I'm in the lightweight and you can do good damage. You know, this, this gun has good um, pen and good, um, what do you call it, uh, shell velocity of you know 1000 something meters a second so what i uh what i like to do is come up here spot the crossing and with a lightweight obviously you can take shots but this is super important guys i want to i want to note this. this is super important to um to spot this crossing because not only do you spot people and you might get the shots right but why it's so vital is you can see where everyone is going on the map this is really important because look you see me clicking. Tiger, Samua, Karn, Fosh, Fosh, however you say this, they're all coming this way. I know that because I've spotted them. I've spotted them, right? So here they all are, and they're going to be coming this way. And now I know, look, Fosh is here. And other people will hopefully look at the map and go, you know, oh shit, here comes, you know, four people, and no one is prepared for this side. Look, look at where the team is compared to, you know, over here. So this is why I kind of wanted to bring you um, this this type of video on this map because Ensk is one of those maps that I sucked on for the longest time. I still have problems on this map. I'm really bad on Ensk, guys. Like, I just don't know what to do after my, my initial spots here. And what I now do is I will go to the side that I think is weak and just kind of be somewhat passive. Spotting on this, like, people try too hard to spot on this map. They'll come up here, they'll come up to like E or F90, whatever. And they'll try and do all this all this crap, you know, and whatever, whatever. They're sitting in a bush here. This is okay. There's one good spot where this guy is right over here. Right here. That you could kind of sit in a bush. But in my opinion, it's just not even worth it to try and spot on this map until the late game. That's the case on quite a few maps, actually. But on this one, it is 100% the case. 100% the case in every almost every single situation just try and get shots early game guys literally play almost as a td and then once you need to um once you need to start progressing right because it's now seven to one then you can make your move i don't know how many times i've run into this freaking thing guys and I, uh, I was showing my dad this replay and he's like yeah i run into that thing all the time too it's because like, it blends in so well you don't see it they should just take this whole freaking you know cart out of the game whatever it's called all right, so now it's 7 to 2. I'm going to start moving up, and we've only done 200 spotting, but watch how easy it is now to move up. Obviously, we have a lot of people here, but just watch what I'm able to do on this Yag Tiger. I come racing through here, and because these buildings kind of offer me some protection from the G-Sword and stuff, I don't think I'm going to get hit. I run right here, and I go after the Yag Tiger, and now this gives my team more of a reason to continue on right it's almost like a morale booster when you rip through and don't even get hit and then everyone's like oh cool we can go and everyone starts going forward right and now i'm pushing the g-sort i you know i get a shot on the g-sort and look we have this whole side of the map and that's why i i emphasize like just don't you're almost better off not even making a play on this map until you know you can make a play if that makes sense and now a little uh, love tap to the g-sort there but now we can move up and we have you know, two sides, maybe even three sides, really, I don't know, you want to look at this from where we're going to be hitting them, because we're basically just surrounding these guys, because now, you know, we've won the 9-0, and this game is over. So, did their team suck? Yeah. Was our team pretty good? Yeah. I mean, this game wasn't balanced, but I want to show you guys this video, because I feel like I'm not the only person that has a problem on Ensk. Ensk is really difficult to play a light, because you're just too impatient right get a nice shot here on the tiger at the end 1661 damage 261 assists it wasn't a terrible game by any means it wasn't a great game by any means but that's it no end plates i just wanted to show you guys this video quickly because i think it might help a lot of you out to play ensk 
be patient. Just take a few shots at the beginning. Don't rush anything. If you start losing one side of the map heavily, go to that side and try and bring it back. You know, if you happen to be on the opposing team on, on this game, and something like ha that happens, well, you're kind of SOL. I've been there many times too. And what I do is I come back when we lose this, I come back to like right here, this area, maybe this corner, maybe this building, and I just try and take a bunch of shots. <clears throat> on everyone that's pressing like this. All right, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you for the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.